Oh, well, there it goes. Fan motor did not kick on. So, I'll see if I push start the fan motor. I probably could push start it from here, but that isn't going to help me. It's not starting on its own. Yeah, once again, if I'm going to have a fan motor go down, today was the day. It's a nice, beautiful day. Nice and cool. It's not going to get too many more. I want to make sure we discharge our capacitor. The capacitor holds the charge in it even after the power is disconnected. So what you got to do is bridge the leads of the common reddick side with in, holding only the insulated portion of the screwdriver. Just bridge the leads like so. Um, and now we're going to need to disconnect the wiring to our fan motor. You want to avoid putting any kind of pressure on the blades themselves. Uh, that way it doesn't change it on out. at all because then you get fan wobble when you have to start all over. Almost there. Sometimes if the post is longer, you want to sand it first to be able to remove it. I tell you, I got really lucky there. That went really easy. Motor cable shaft on this side. Kind of a nice deal. Preserve that. <laughs> Feed our new motor right on through there. And we're going to need our wiring to face the correct direction. If your units are on the ground, you're going to want to anchor your directional switches underneath here. But my units are on the roof, so on the roof you can get away with actually passing them through the top. So then if you needed to change the wire direction, you could do it from the top. So, since mine are on the roof, that's what I can do. Again, if your unit's on the ground, you don't want to do that because you don't want any kids to, or any people to uh, mess with it and get shocked. Like not I can pass that on through. There we go. Nice and tucked in. And we'll just have our ground wire. Gonna pass that up top. Right on through as well as well as our Again, for units on the ground, you don't want to do it this way. You don't want to just anchor the leads. You can put it inside there, or you can you put it inside there, or you can cable tie it, whichever makes you more comfortable, makes it safer. Okay, so now we're gonna. I've got my bolts that I brought with me, and we also have the bolts that it came with. Now, if these all these are the wrong size, so they're not going to work at all. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get my bolts ready that I brought with me, as well as this one have some locking washers, so I'll make use of those. We don't want this puppy coming off, unless we take it off in the future. There we go. Gravity 
work for us. Fan motors. Not too bad. Not too bad. I probably should have worked less. I think uh, it up a lot easier. But oh well. Building maintenance is a little bit different than an ATX that would take all the tools with them. For me, a lot of times I'm just using what I have because a lot of times I get pulled off in the middle of another job and I only have a small amount of time. So that's a little bit different approach. I've always got my shop here and uh, so it gives me a little bit different approach than your traditional HVAC guys will take. Not charging anybody for parts or anything like that so again it gives me a little bit different approach to things okay this I'm just gonna run to here I have another bolt so I'll just use that to, to anchor it in run on the ground wire through just so it keeps the directional switches from ever falling back into the unit not the prettiest deal when you just pull these through the top of the unit but Again, my units are on the roof, so it's not the same as when they're on the ground. You really got to tuck these away where nobody can get to them. Okay, now our ground wire is tightened on, our motor's on. Now we just need to put our blades on. The blades will ship slip down the shaft and keep them just above above here before tightening it down. And you can see the flat portion of the, the blade, that's where the, the connection will tighten on. That looks good there, I don't want to go any lower. I don't want to get too close to those tops. started here with my Leatherman and I'll just follow it up with my go here and we're good. Yep. And now we're ready to put it back on and feed our wires on down. And it kind of dawned on me that I actually might not have enough room to get down to the wires so good thing I cut those wires earlier instead of pulling them through because I could just keep them fed through the back which unfortunately I, I pulled them through here and they're already connected and ready to go and I can strip these up and make them so I can just connect to my wires here because I actually don't have enough room to, uh, to run them all the way into the box so I'm gonna need to make my wire connections inside but you know nobody's messing around inside here <laughs> so uh that's gonna be the story there yeah fine 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 uh wire strippers are a little bit better when you're stripping wires but unfortunately i don't have my wire strippers with me wire strippers can trick you too the most important part is that you're not losing strands of wires and whether using wire strippers or not you want to make sure that you're not losing any strands of your wire so anyway I'm just gonna 
check this off. There we go. And you can examine your, your uh, stripped off piece of insulation and make sure you have no strands of wires in there. If you do, you need to start over, restrip another section. No big deal. Anyway, I can reconnect my, well, I'm gonna change that, but. And same thing, just examining inside there to make sure we haven't lost any wire strands. For the wiring I just don't have enough to reach down into the box so what I'm gonna need to do is bring those wires back on in and we'll connect them up inside there it's easy enough I'll just pass these back through the conduit hole there trouble by checking this first but that's all right hindsight's always 2020 you know what I mean ah so let see it please you asked for an AC video this is it man <laughs> Okay, so here's my wires now. Brought them on up here. I'll make my connections here, and I'll kind of anchor my my uh, deal here so that uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so here we go. We've got our black wire. It's gonna go to black. That's really easy. red wire okay so we've got our black to black and now every every brand wants to use a different color I'm trying to say this nicely every brand wants to use a different color so you're going to match your white wire to whatever is the other color so your black wire is generally always going to be black for your fan and then the the second wire is going to go to the white wire so whether it's blue which is quite often the case or whether it's red it's going to go to this white line on this fan motor. Or whether it's yellow, you get the idea. You'll have different colors. Now right here, we'll cap off or leave disconnected the brown and white wire. And we'll connect the brown wire to the brown. That's our fan. So I'll 
strip that wire off also. We'll connect it to the brown fan wire. That's the brown and white, we clip that off. And the brown one, we're gonna strip and connect. And I'm gonna hope I have enough wire nuts with me. If not, I'll need to go get some wire nuts. Get all these capped off. As well as we'll find a place to tie this off to make it better. So I've got my little pouch here, checking for wire nuts. I don't have any there. Uh oh. Not looking promising. Oh, there's one, two. Three, yay. All right, I do. Got the wire nuts, okay. There we go. Using the brown and the brown and the white wire is a different setup for using a separate fan capacitor, like a separate five microfarad capacitor. Uh, capping off the brown and white wire and just running the, the brown wire will work for a dual capacitor setup. I actually have a video on converting the dual capacitors to single capacitors. Uh, you can check that out if you wanted to. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to position these where that fan is never going to never going to hit those wires. Otherwise, Game over. Okay. Now I was telling you I'm going to change out this capacitor to the correct size capacitor. The original one was a, a 35, 3, 35 plus 3 capacitor. And we want to match our capacitor except that I've changed the fan here. This particular fan requires a 5 microfarad capacitor. So I'll be using a 35.5 uh, dual cap for this setup. Okay. So this one we've got red going to common and blue going to herm. Match them on our new one. Blue going to herm. Red going to common. And I'm going to add a hard start kit because all my units need hard start kits. I hear a lot of people don't like me adding the hard start kits, but this is what it is in my area. I always get callbacks when I don't add them, so you do what you got to do in your area. I'm going to do what I got to do in my area. Oh, look, I've got a cable tie. <laughs> A little wire tie so I can use that to tie the wires up and keep everything out of the way. Okay, so this just goes on Herm and Common. These out of the way. And set our capacitor in over here. Okay. Gonna anchor these in right here in front of the plate. Just like that. I'm just going to tie these on the front right here. No big deal. Using this little wire tie here. Just to make sure they never go into that fan blade. Ah, so let's see it please. You asked for an AC video. This is it, man. <laughs> okay. Now we're hooked up. We're ready to, ready to fire it up. Test it out. Here it goes. We want to make sure our blades are spinning the correct direction. 
Everything is doing what it's supposed to do. Here it goes. Looks like maybe our blades are going the wrong direction. I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Blades definitely go in the wrong direction. Plug it in again. Sometimes I've seen where the unit wants to keep reversing direction. And we'll see if that's what's going on here. Nope, it's just been in the wrong direction. So that's good. That's an easy fix. We can use our directional switches up top to reverse the direction of the blades. As long as it keeps turning the same direction every time, we're okay. If not, we need to convert the, uh, the capacitor to split it into two separate capacitors to ensure that we're going the same direction every time. Now let me show you how to change the directions. Okay, so here's how to change the direction on a fan blade. You want to make sure you pull your capacitor, your uh, disconnect, and then discharge your capacitor, holding only the insulated blade of the screwdriver, and discharge all of them, just to be safe. What you got to do is separate these and you're just going to switch one of them so that you're connecting the opposite sides like so. It's really simple. Now our blade direction has changed and we can test it out here. Plug it in and make sure the blades are going in the correct direction. It should be spinning this way so that it scoops the air and blows it up and out. Yep, that's it. And you also just want to make sure it's not reversing directions on you by disconnecting it again and then plugging it in again. So I'll stop it. We'll make sure it's not spit, but it's still spinning in the correct direction. And since it is, I'll go ahead and pull it, put everything back together, put my covers on, and we're all set. If your units are on the ground, your condenser units are outside on the ground then you'll have your directional switches located underneath the fan cover uh, because mine are on the roof they're able to be passed through the top of the lid so it makes changing the directional switches a little bit easier uh, in the other case if yours are on the ground you have to lift the lid up and then change the directional switches that way okay so now put in the screws back in for the lid what you want to do is Go around and line things up. Six and one screwdriver works really good for this. I actually want to wait for that particular screw. I'll do those last because they got the cover there. Gotta go on. Anyway, you want to line these up right here. And put it together. There we go. Get our screws here. Same thing in the drill here. We just gotta line the to the left here. This lid was a little bit easier, I think, than some of the other lids. Nice and chilly. Good to go. One air conditioner back in business. Just clean up here, get off the roof. Nice, beautiful Palm Springs day.